What is up my fellow gamers, welcome back to Reloads Gaming, it is your boy Reloads back on some Gears of War 4. Today in this video I'm bringing you guys this insane 9-0 headshot only t ranked TDM gameplay on Gridlock. You guys are going to see a lot of nasty snipes and a lot of nasty pop shots in this gameplay. But today in this video what I want to discuss and I want to talk about, I want to talk about 5 things that I would like to see return to the Gears of War franchise and be implemented into Gears of War 5. Yes I know that we are a long way out from seeing any new information or reveal trailer from the Gears of War 5 multiplayer and a lot of people are still breaking down the cinematic trailer but these are just my five speculations of things that i would like to see returning back to the gears of war franchise and these are all just from a player standpoint somebody that has been playing the gears of war games since the start of the franchise so one of the first things that i would like to see implemented back into the gears of war franchise is free for all free for all was first introduced into the gears of war franchise back when gears of war judgment was out and honestly i'm not going to say that gears of war judgment wasn't a good game it was actually pretty fun i did enjoy it it's just i didn't like the fact how there was no down system in it. the free for all game Game mode in Gears of War Judgment was so fun. It was so dope. It was just fun to just sit there and go around with your friends. So that is one thing I would like to see incorporated into the Gears of War franchise. And hopefully that the Coalition brings that game mode back into Gears of War 5. So that's one thing I'm hoping for is that whenever Gears of War 5, there is a multiplayer trailer shown or whatever. I hope that they sit there and they bring back free for all mode into the Gears of War franchise. I definitely feel like that game mode needs to be implemented for the game once again. So another thing that I would like to see implemented into Gears of War, if like that to come back and one thing that was actually interesting introduced into Gears of War Judgment was the Reaper. If you guys remember the Reaper that was in Gears of War Judgment, that it was all Epic Games developers or people in the community that killed the Reaper. And if you kill the Reaper, you'll actually earn like a medal and you'll be able to actually play with the character. I'm not 100% sure how that really worked, but I know I only killed the Reaper like one time. But I know when you kill the Reaper, you'll get like a special thing. He was like a very powerful character. And it was like so dope to sit there and kill the Reaper. Honestly, if that would come back in the Coalition would implement something into that, into like Gears of War 5 multiplayer, that would be so dope. It would actually be a pretty interesting way for the Coalition to continue to interact with the Gears of War community. The third thing that I would like to see implemented into Gears of War 5 is I would like to see a lot of classic maps. There's some classic maps that I wish would it came back to Gears of War 4, but since they did not come back to Gears of War 4, I hope the coalition decides to implement them into Gears of War 5 multiplayer. So one of the maps that I actually would like to see come back into Gears of War 5 whenever the multiplayer comes out in 2019, I would actually like to see the sense would make a return as well as All Father's Garden as well as I would like to see Azora. Azora was so dope. That was one of my favorite maps in Gears of War 3. Yeah, I just felt like that was just a very dope map. It was very cool for snipers because you had two snipers spawning on the map. So that was actually a very dope map. And the fourth thing that I would like to make a return back to the Gears of War franchise and be implemented to Gears of War 5 is if you guys remember back in Gears of War 3 how you had your medal system how you would earn medals for earning like certain challenges for example like I remember I had the Onyx 3 headshot medal where I got like I think it was like a thousand kills with my head with the long shot I feel like that was so dope and that was so cool because you actually could earn characters off that and I feel like if the coalition sat there and brought that back that would be another way for people to sit there and earn characters and I feel like it would be pretty cool to have your own medal online I know yes when you play ranked TDMs or any ranked game modes, you'll have like your little honest medal. But I feel like if I had my own medal where I can show my mastery, like I definitely would have mastered out my long shot and got an honest medal in Gears of War 3 for my ass mastered out the headshot. I feel like if I was able to sit there and show that tier and show that especially it's like, hey man, I mastered out this honest medal. I'm really good with the sniper. Or if somebody else has like an honest um, emblem where it's a lance, that would be pretty cool. That's what I definitely enjoyed in Gears of War 3. It was allowed you to see what people were good at, and that was the one thing that was pretty cool about that. Now, the fifth thing that I would like to see make a return to Gears of War 5. I don't know how it could work. This is just my speculation, but I feel like in Gears of War Judgment, I like how you can sit there and you can jump on top, and I feel like that was like something like a cool kind of mechanic. It was like something very different, and I just feel like it kind of fit with Gears of War style play because you are like some beastly soldier, and it's like you have all this armor, and I would expect you to sit there and be able to jump off some type of building and take some type of damage, but I mean, that's just my speculation. I'm not really too sure how it will work in Gears of War 5. I mean, you might have to really do some tweaking with the mechanics but that's just one of the five things that i would like to see come back to gears of war 5 so once again man these are just my five speculation of things that i would like to see implemented into gears of war 5 multiplayer i want to know what you guys think down below in the comment section uh what is your top five things that you would like to see implemented into the gears of war 5 multiplayer but once again man this is just a quick little video i'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of the video hope you guys enjoy this 9 and 0 sniper headshot only gameplay on gridlock i'm actually going to be starting a brand new series where i'm going to be doing the road to diamond series we're actually just going to be uploading some gameplays and probably doing a little bit of commentary over and just talking over it just 
I'm trying to be more active on my channel. I do want to say thank you so much to everybody that has been supporting my last year's award video that I uploaded. It's so much motivation for me to sit there and continue to post for you guys. And don't forget to smash that like button. It definitely helps me out, and I definitely do appreciate it. And also, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Gears of War 4 content. And follow you man on Twitter at It's Reloads to stay up to date on everything that is going on with Reloads Gaming as well as the Ghost of Entertainment. And I will see you guys on my next video.